Hi, my name is Anthony Mackey. I'm here at the glorious Caesar Casino and Resort here in Las Vegas, and I'm promoting the best film of 2019, Miss Bala. Uh, it was great. I mean, I think for this movie, more so than being a badass, I feel like Gina brought a certain humility, a certain beauty to this role uh, that most actresses couldn't bring. You know, it, um, it shows that she's a very talented actress. Uh, well, I would like to say that uh, I work best with female directors. This is my second Catherine film, uh, and I'm, I'm very... Uh, proud of the fact that I work well with directors named Catherine. That's kind of like my end game. Uh, so if your name is Catherine and you're a director, give me a call, free, I work cheap. Um, but it was great, I mean, <laughs> sorta. It was, uh, it was great. I think uh, when you look at a movie like this in this day and age, in this generation, in this time, there are no limits and no, um, no shortcomings to the idea of what anyone can be, male, female, black, white, Latino, whatever you are, you know, the sky's the limit. So to be in a movie like this with a female director and a female star and being the short guy on the totem pole, I, uh, I was excited about that opportunity. The biggest challenge on this film was not getting fat. Uh, we shot this movie in Mexico, and if there's one thing Mackie loved, Mackie loved a taco. So when I heard I was going to the land of tacos and guacamole, I was like, this is going to be a problem. So I'm going to need my pants and my shirts to be elastic in the back because if I'm here for more than 10 days, you're going to get fat Mackie. That's a real thing. <laughs> I love tacos. Who doesn't love tacos? Who don't love guacamole? I mean, I don't, I've never Who don't love a good quinceanera? <laughs> Um, adrenaline, rush, action. I'm Catherine Hardwick. I'm the director of Miss Bala. I'm here at CinemaCon in Vegas. And we're really excited about this movie. When I heard that Gina was interested and I got to have a meeting with her, I was pretty thrilled because Gina brings a lot of heart and passion to it. She works her butt off. She's tough, but beautiful and sensitive. So I was very excited to work with her and, and have her be seen in a role that we've never seen her play before. And then we were looking for Lino, you know, the love-hate love, interest. And our executive, Ange, said, hey, did you see Ray Donovan? This guy is hot. He's got green eyes and he's sexy. And I watched it. I'm like, damn. He is amazing. He came over, he's the first person that read for the role, and he was just layered, like funny, weird, whack, strange, unique, and could go from scary, like a shark, one minute, to like funny and weird. And I thought, I love this character. And the fact that he and Gina had this chemistry that was just sparking off each other and is extremely sexy in the movie. <laughs> Well, this movie is set in Tijuana, so luckily we did not have to film it in Canada or anything like, or Atlanta. I'm from the Mexican border of Texas, and so I love border towns. They're so interesting, so much contrast and scary and beautiful things going on and culture clashes that I really wanted to film it in Tijuana. And so we filmed Tijuana in the vineyard area, which is Valle de Guadalupe and Rosarita Beach. And I feel like we kind of showcase some gorgeous parts and really I'm an architect so I like some of the modern architecture that's in Tijuana. We try to get all that into the movie too. So it's pretty stunning. It's not like what people think maybe it, it would look like, you know. And the crew was amazing. I mean, we ha I'd already worked with the DP, Patrick Morgia. He's from Mexico City. He just has a beautiful eye, you know. He used these gorgeous anamorphic lenses that add this texture to it. All the crew was super dedicated and into it and passionate and wanted to make a great movie, so it was a wonderful team. Yeah. 
Well, I think right now, um, you know, everybody's feeling excited about women feeling their power, finding their voice, being able to speak out. And so you see this girl going from a moment where she doesn't feel like she has a voice and isn't listened to, to at the end, she's going to speak out. And she is not going to put up with any BS. <laughs> so, yeah, I think it's, it's a perfect time for it. Yeah. Perfect. I'd say it's, yeah, like a crazy badass action thriller. Yeah. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here in Las Vegas promoting Miss Bala. About to give you guys a preview of Miss Bala. It's a really fun action thriller uh, that is about a young girl that goes to visit her young, not that young. <laughs> Let's take that back. Um, it is about a girl that goes down to Mexico to visit a good friend of hers, gets herself mixed up in a unfortunate incident and gets her way out of it using her wit and her mind and her strength and her empowerment. You're watching a girl going from ordinary to extraordinary. Well, I mean, it's not often that you get to participate in a film that is a heavy Latino cast, a 95% Latino production crew, and to have the opportunity to speak two languages on set, to be immersed in a culture that is beautiful and glorious and one that I get to celebrate. And uh, that's not often that you get that opportunity. Actually, I've never had that opportunity. This is the first time I've had that opportunity. Well, there's challenges making a movie. It's not easy to make a movie. And then it's not easy to make an action movie. Uh, so there were lots of challenges, and there always are, but that's the beautiful magic about art, is that you get through them. But um, not, too many, not too many challenges. I'm Ismael Cruz Cordova, and I'm right here at CinemaCon promoting Miss Bala. Well, the movie is about this woman that finds herself in a very unfortunate situation down in Mexico when she goes to visit her friend. Um, and through her use of wit and self-empowerment, she turns it around and becomes the heroine of her own story. Working with a female director and a female star and a lot of input from female execs and, and, and crew as well, I think for me it was an honor. Honestly, um, I grew up with four sisters and just uh, surrounded by females. And I, it's, I, I'm uh, not surprised. I'm very knowledgeable of the power of women. So it's for me about time that um, everybody else is catching on. You know, so I felt very well taken care of, and I felt very proud to be part of this vehicle to show what they're capable of and more. And this is not fictionalized. It's just like an aspect of how amazing they are and they can be. There's so much excitement and so many amazing things that the films, this film offers. Um, I can't say the, the most, you know, that you should be looking forward to, but I think on the, along those lines is to see a, a woman um, really just empower herself, you know, and find it within herself to go through these such adverse, um, circumstances and come out the other way victorious and it just and the, you see her run you see her jump you see her shoot a gun you see her just jump out of the most improbable windows of bathrooms and everything else it's it, it's it's refreshing when you see it, you're seeing something um you all of a sudden you feel you find yourself super excited and you don't know why is it because you don't see this um represented and i think people are um you know should look forward to seeing a lot of that well, we off screen, Gina and I actually met at the boxing gym, May, I think a year before. Um, and I saw her box before I, you know, went and said, hey, I love your work, kind of thing. Um, and from, from the get go, she has just such an energy and, and light and brightness, but also commanding spirit. You know, you know you're in the room with someone that um, has opinions and someone that creates and somebody that knows her place in the world. Um, and, and that chemistry just uh, went all the way to screen and on the set and how we approach these characters and how these characters relate to each other. I think throughout the film, you see that um, Lino and Gloria uh, start seeing themselves, each other as equals. You know, there's something that they see in each other and they 
uh, identify that they are both uh, hustled they were, their way through life and they were giving nothing and have made everything with the little things that they gave. And I think that's something that uh, Gina and I actually do have in common. We talk about that we were not handed anything in our lives. We worked for everything that we have. We fought for it. And that's why we feel really, I mean, keeping it cool. I'm so excited to be here, you know, to be in this moment uh, with uh, two Latino leads in a film. You know, it's, it's big and... Um, hasn't been magic. We, we've, gotten, we've been getting ready to be part of this and represent what we do. And when you get a chance right here, please. And one last one. Hi, kids, right here, Mel. There you go. And ladies and gentlemen, when you get a chance right here, please. Thank you. Hello. And then everybody over here, please. And one straight ahead for me, please. Show the leg. Anthony over here. See the leg? Over here. See the leg? Gina, the leg. Yeah. That's like screaming out of the front, baby. Give him the leg. Yes. Throw the hair. Throw the hair. On your right. Yes. Yes. Oh, I've always wanted to be in an action film. I started off boxing when I was really, really young. I'm all about adrenaline and rush, and I like to do my own stunts. And, you know, I, it's just, uh, it's rare that you get this opportunity, so I definitely wasn't going to pass it up. Um, what was the most badass scene you filmed? Oh, uh... The bull ring. The bull ring was badass. The climbing out of a bathroom, scaling down a wall with heels is pretty badass. The, um, you know, taking down a few men was pretty badass. And pretty easy, too, so, um, no. Uh, there was a lot, there's a lot of action in this movie. So, you know, we go through a crazy, crazy roller coaster. I, I can't say that one was more difficult than the other. I think it was all pretty challenging. It was, it was pretty, you'll see it. We, we did it all, me and Badass Stunt Team. Me in a car with Gina driving away and me telling her, we could use someone. That was so yeah. badass! I went full Denzel, homie. I didn't stop at Mel Smith. I went full Denzel. That was awesome. I had never, I had never met Anthony, and so I was on the phone like, yeah, we really want you to be in this movie. And I said, I, I don't want to be touchy, but you know, are you in shape, you know? Because I want you to wear a tank top. He was so insulted. <laughs> like there was crickets on the other end of, are you in shape? Like, who am I talking to? I'm just saying. <laughs> Put me in a land of tacos, it's a problem. I'm no longer in shape, I'm Fat Mackey. Being in a large scale film with a Latina heroine, it feels like I'm part of something important, special, and something that will change mindsets. Um, I feel honored to be led by such a badass filmmaker, uh, an auteur, and a lead actress. So